Hello friends, Ann Van Meter here with you today for Thursday's Lectio Divina. We're in Acts. We'll be reading Acts 18, 12 through 23. Um, I'm in my office today. You can see one of the word clouds that um, we, we did with some children last year. Um, uh, I know real clouds today. Still a little hot and humid out there for me right now. So um, I am um, always delighted to um, read for you. I pray that this time between you and scripture is holy and meaningful and um, gives you a sense of peace um, and wonder. And um, the, our four-step process, um, I will uh, read and pause um, in between each time and give you some simple prompt, prompts along the way. Uh, forgive me for any mispronunciation. Uh, tune in to John Frankie's for the correct pronunciation <laughs> of things here. So, um, but here we go, um, Acts 18, 12 through 23. But when Gallio was pro proconsul of Acacia, the Jews made a united attack, attack on Paul and brought him before the tribunal. They said, this man is persuading people to worship God in ways that are contrary to the law. Just as Paul was about to speak, Callio said to the Jews, if, if it were a matter of crime or serious villainy, I would be justified in accept, accepting the complaints of you Jews. But since it is a matter of questions about words and names and your own law, See to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of these matters. And he dismissed them from the tribunal. Then all of them seized Siothenus, the official of the synagogue, and beat him in front of the tribunal. But Gallio paid no attention to any of these things. After staying there for a considerable time, Paul said farewell to the believers and sailed for Syria, accompanied by Priscilla and Aquila. At Centria, he had his hair cut, for he was under a vow. When they reached Ephesus, he left them there. But first, he himself went into the synagogue and had a discussion with the Jews. When they asked him to stay longer, he declined. But on taking leave of them, he said, I will return to you if God wills. Then he set sail for Ephesus. When he had landed at Caesarea, he went up to Jerusalem and greeted the church. And he went down to Antioch. After spending some time there, he departed and went from place to place through the region of Galatia and Thurgi strengthening all the disciples. Let's rest here, considering words and phrases that have jumped out at us. As we hear this, these verses again, this section is referred to as reflect. So again, focusing on words or phrases, thoughts that have come to your mind, and, and ask God, what is it that you want me to learn today? But when Gallio was proconsul of, of Acacia, the Jews made a united attack on Paul and brought him before the tribunal. They said, this man is persuading people to worship God in ways that are contrary to the law. Just as Paul was about to speak, Gallio said to the Jews, if it were a matter of crime or serious villainy, I would be justified in accepting the complaints of you Jews. But since it is a matter of questions about words and names and your own law, see to it yourself. I do not wish to be a judge of these matters. And he dismissed them from the tribunal. Then all of them seized 
Thosinus, the official of the synagogue, and beat him in front of the tribunal. But Gallio paid no attention to any of these things. After staying there for a considerable time, Paul said farewell to the believers and sailed for Syria, accompanied by Priscilla and Aquila. At Centuria, he had his hair cut, for he was under a vow. When they reached Ephesus, he left them there, but first he himself went into the synagogue and had a discussion with the Jews. When they asked him to stay longer, he declined. But on taking leave of them, he said, I will return to you if God wills. Then he set sail for Ephesus. When he landed at Caesarea, he went up to Jerusalem and greeted the church and then went down to Antioch. After spending some time there, he departed and went from place to place through the region of Galatia and Virgia, strengthening all the disciples. Let's rest and reflect here. Our third time through is referred to as responding. After we hear these verses from Acts again, you will want to um, continue that, that time of reflection, but also um, worship God, confess, um, praise Him, thanksgiving, um, take a moment to um, really be with Him and um, and talk to him. But when Gallio was proconsul of, of Acacia, the Jews made a uni uni united attack on Paul and brought him before the tribunal. They said, this man is persuading people to worship God in ways that are contrary to the law. Just as Paul was about to speak, Gallio said to the Jews, if it were a matter of crime or serious villainy, I would be justified in accepting the complaint of you Jews. But since it is a matter of questions about words and names and your own law, see to it yourself. I do not wish to be a judge of these matters. And he dismissed them from the tribunal. Then all of them seized Sothenius the official of the synagogue, and beat him in front of the tribunal. The Gallo paid no attention to any of these things. After staying there for a considerable time, Paul said farewell to the believers and sailed for Syria, accompanied by Priscilla and Aquila. And at Centuria, he had his hair cut, for he was under a vow. When they reached Ephesus, he left them there, but first he himself went into the synagogue and had a discussion with the Jews. When they asked him to stay longer, he declined. But on taking leave of them, he said, I will return to you if God wills. Then he set sail for Ephesus. When he had landed at Caesarea, he went up to Jerusalem and greeted the church and then went down to Antioch. After spending some time there, he departed and went from place to place through the region of Galatia and Virgia, strengthening all the disciples. Friends, let's respond to God in this silent time.
friends, for our last time to read through, this section is also is often referred to as, as remain. Again, we want to continue to respond and reflect and just encourage ourselves to remain um, with the Lord more time um, to ponder, um, to worship, and to ask God um, what it is that he wants you to hear from him today. Acts 18, 12 through 23. But when Gallo was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews made a united attack on Paul and brought him before the tribunal. They said, this man is persuading people to worship God in ways that are contrary to the law. Just as Paul was about to speak, Gallio said to the Jews, if it were a matter of crime or serious villainy, I would be justified in accept accepting the complaint of you Jews. But since it is a matter of questions about words and names and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of these matters. And he dismissed them from the tribunal. Then all of them seized Sothenes, the official of the synagogue, and beat him in front of the tribunal. But Gallio paid no attention to any of these things. After staying there for a considerable time, Paul said farewell to the believers and sailed for Syria accompanied by Priscilla and Aquila. At Centuria, he had his hair cut, for he was under a vow. When they reached Ephesus, he left them there. But first, he himself went into the synagogue and had a discussion with the Jews. When they asked him to stay longer, he declined. But on taking leave of them, he said, I will return to you if God wills. Then he set sail for Ephesus. When he had landed at Caesarea, he went up to Jerusalem and greeted the church and then went down to Antioch. After spending some time there, he departed and went from place to place through the region of Galatia and Phrygia, strengthening all the disciples. I'll leave you today, but I pray that you will always remember that God is with you, that you are um, loved and cherished, and he is ever present with you. Um, I pray that the, these words stick with you today and, um, and that you have peace and wonder and, um, and feel the blessing of God's love. Take care, friends.